Okay, I'm back. I have no idea what this is going to do with the resolution. It might come out a bit weird having that swap in the middle. However, uh, so now I can at least see my entire memory section there. So let's do a trace kill. <sighs> Look at that. It takes up pretty much the entire freaking... That is not very useful. I don't know what it's, it's doing, but... Um, gives me time to read my analyzing, I guess. But, seriously, no. Actually, I can analyze while that's going. All right, that is useful. That's, uh, that's useful. You know what? Between, okay, that's what it's for. I can analyze, I can break firewalls and proxies without the trace being active. That is really nice. Okay. It makes sense now. Bio, bio gel. Great. Now, however, I have to exit this and get some other stuff going. So exit, boom. Um, web on 80. SMTP on 25, darn it, SSH on 22, there we go. Just enough. SMTP overflow on 25, come on, somebody finish up already. Go. We'll make it fine, we'll make it fine, but. Do, 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 do. come on. I'm in. Deleting all the logs. Aha! Another use. I don't need any memory to browse around. So, of course. So for systems where they lock you out as soon as you disconnect, I can now get in. Because I have free reign. Ah! I figured out what it's for. <laughs> Nothing, system, nothing, message board. Configs. <laughs> yep, all right, config, caution. That will that will crash everything. Yep, I got it, I got it. It's closed, nothing, listings. Okay, there, now I can read this stupid stuff. All right. Uh, Kellos Biotech pacemaker is designed for patients that are considered a high risk or need con consistent monitoring. Be connected remotely. The system is hard locked to only accept binary update packages signed by the build server of the chip's assigned software designer. Updates are generally only provided on a on case specific basis, in which a patient may need slightly different settings to account for natural changes in cardiac rhythm in response to age or operations. Okay, Hell's updating system makes these changes possible. Well, the need for further intrusive operation. Although prior versions of the chip included tools for manually updating settings, these have been removed for security concerns. And this current version only allows pacemaker behaviors changes to be made via firmware patch, which can be done wirelessly to remove the need for surgery. If your case requires such an update, contact your assigned biotech representative for assistance and budgeting. Oh, they're gonna hold you ransom. That's what they're gonna do. All right. Clearing security to perform a firmware update once assigned binary has been retrieved from the software developers requires several steps. First, connect to the pacemaker chip using the patient's reference IP address. Log in as an administrator using details that will have been assigned on a per case basis by the client. This step is protected using Kalos's proprietary microport protection system. Ah, port 6652. At this stage, remote monitoring will be enabled, allowing the user to view live ECG data. Perform the firmware update. A secondary software login must be performed using an authorized software manufacturer authentication code. With both details confirmed, an update can be uploaded and activated on the chip, which will automatically soft reset, no danger to the patient, and activate the new code. Firmware and patching. The firmware for the 244 chip was written by Eidolon soft version control queries and updates are handled through their central server located at da, 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 da. Um, I don't think I I don't want to 
105. Got 22 to 1. All right, I can fit that. Stupid note system. Anyway, as only builds signed by their internal services using our key will run on the chips. No other company can produce working code for the chips without having them compile it. Issues with the remote monitor software and interface of external access to the chips should be directed at them. Their contact email for such requests and queries is support at idleonsoft.com. All right, so this is their update server. I think that's primarily what I needed to get. So, let's remove all my logs and then leave. <laughs> Okay. So I can, yeah, trace kill definitely has its uses. It's, I've, it's been discovered. Because. Except that I have admin access to that. So I didn't need to do that at all. <laughs> but if there's another server, it was good practice. It was still good practice. Uh, okay, let me think here. Well, what I should really be doing here is connect to 2.6.141.219. Admin access required. There we go. View monitor, nothing. Exit. Whoa, okay. Interesting. Connect 111.105.22.1. Okay, where the heck did that chip go? There it is, okay. So, production server, and then his chip is over here. All right, good to know. Oh, you know what, I forgot. I never did Remove the logs from these four suckers. Let's do that now, shall we? Don't remove everything, Ben, that would suck. Excellent. There we go. So. Junebug. All right, so doing some research. Production server. Let's probe this sucker and see what we got. Just takes four ports. Nothing too difficult. Web server. FTP bounce. SSH. Oh. We go SMTP on 25. All right, plenty of time. I need memory to run all this stuff. We'll just see if I get to keep admin access to this. Um, we'll poke around first, though. Yes, password found. Go away. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Uh, scan network, first of all. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, projects. Interesting. Let's kick scan through. Let's get some rid of some logs. Okay. Some IRC logs, that's all. Nah, 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 nah. What the hell? I'm not gonna read all that. Okay, so project, internal goals. 
Uh, buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. Progressively maximize cross-unit quality vectors. Synergistically benchmark client-centric relationships. Distinctively envisioneer next-generation collaboration and idea sharing. Competently plagiarize optimal e-services. <laughs> Competently plagiarize, nice. Appropriately monetize process-centric outsourcing. Efficiently supply clicks and mortar methodologies. Seamlessly impact real-time benefits. Wow, that said a lot of nothing. All right, oh, hey. As discussed in recent meetings, our support teams need wildcard access to our systems to perform effective maintenance and updates when called out to the field. To achieve this, we're introducing a new e-admin Eidolon support admin on all of our new products. This account will be set up will full privileges and testing functions enabled and will be constant across our range and versions. What this means for support teams is that they will have an easy means of gaining access to debug and admin functionality on test products in the field. And for our deployment managers, you'll need to remember to add this account to the setup scripts of all outgoing products. Okay, eAdmin 1086. That's eAdmin. 10.86. Great. That makes things easy enough. Okay, oh, a bunch of pacemaker firmware. Catalyst driver config. Tests. Okay, test guy. It's part of our test cycle before running the unit test suite on a chip. A cycle check needs to be performed. Hook it up to the test station and run the cycler as its firmware first. This just cycles through all valid outputs and times itself to check that it's hitting timings correctly. More of a hardware test than anything on our end, but it's helpful to pick up subtle errors too. After it's run, it'll dump its data to the station and you can go ahead and flash it and patch in your new test version. Caution, current sign testing firmware named. Pacemaker firmware cycle test.dll. Do not upload it to any deploy ready devices. Sounds like what I want to up to the deploy ready device. <laughs> Obviously the test cycler firmware is signed and encoded so it'll actually run on the chips which means be careful with distributing builds so you don't include it in one of your output folders. Seriously people. Seriously. My god. I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> Okay, so run the cycler. This is, it's like, yeah. Oh my God. Let's just take that in case I need to upload it anywhere. Because why not? Hopefully I'm not assassinating someone, you know, all right? I mean, I'm just totally trusting that these people are upfront about whatever. I don't even know. Entech. Synergistic cloud glass ceiling breaker dot app. <laughs> Human capital enhancer, integrated channel harnesser, proactive focus storage extender, quality vector streamliner. It's pretty nice, pretty beautiful there. So I'm not totally sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Shut that sucker down. Let's go back to the email. Starting with the target's medical record. Yep, that's what I did. Okay, so if I hit reply. Contract successful? Wait, what? Current ranking is 10 of 100. Wait a second. I didn't say deny. I wanted to see what, if there was another email. Mm. 
this is starting to seem really buggy to me. So that's gone. Oh no, I still have a current contract, it would seem. But why does my rating go down? You jerk. Um. All right, so admin login is eadmin. 86 failed what e admin oops let me make sure I don't typo it tens eight six well all right forget you let's probe the system <laughs> port 104 medical services that's all that's there all right, it doesn't look like I can do it anyway. Oh, it's getting warm in my office too here. Thinking so hard. Yeah, I am very confused now. Cause there's like, there's no instructions here. Going from there, okay. Yeah. There, yeah, I don't, I don't have any. I don't understand. I don't have any instructions on what to do or how to upload that or how to access it. They didn't give me any new tools. Let's log in now. So just have to probe this, hack it again. Have I not hacked this one? Pretty sure I hacked this one. Um, yeah, there's, this doesn't tell me anything else to do. Doesn't give me any other tools. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm done with that. I don't know. This is, this is really behaving oddly. I don't know what to Uh, okay. Yeah. I hit wit. No, they don't tell me what to do. They just give me this universal medical server to, like, look up medical records. All right, we'll break this one more time. Oh, crap. No, it's... They got a proxy. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I think next time I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can blunder forward in the whole finding of bit because this mission does not work um i'm i'm really not sure what they want me to do but i can't yeah i mean i thought if i probe i thought i would need the medical services thing I'd, I don't know. Maybe I did this backwards. Who knows? Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you're enjoying Hacknet. I got all kinds of information bounced all around in there. Thought I had something to go on. But uh, it appears not. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. 